We've all pulled up on tripeds, and uh, in addition to the guests who've arrived right here, not pictured on a tripod are Herb Alpert and you, Masakila, whom we'll meet later in the show. Brooke was my driver. This is a beautiful Brooke Shields. You drive one of these tripeds through New York traffic, if you had a driver's license. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was the first time I've ever driven one, so I'm, I'm not really used to it yet. What, what happened there when we ran over the curb? I don't know. I think I went, you know, I went over the bumpy part of the curb. I didn't go. I noticed that. <laughs> yes, I did too. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk to Brooke Shields in our next chat segment. Why don't you go and give Ralph Everett a little hug? <laughs> We are live today, and uh, I hope you a crazy opening outside on the street. In case you're interested in getting one of those tripeds, they are available at A&L Mopeds, uh, which is located at 149 West 14th Street. And they say, if you go in, ask for Felix. I wonder who Felix is. You met, uh, if you were with us at the top of the show, you met outside uh, Brooke Shields. Currently, uh, a very beautiful Louis Mal film called Pretty Baby. Brooke Shields is one of the stars, uh, together with Keith Carradine, Susan Sarandon, and so forth. And Brooke was with us. When were you here before? Several months ago, wasn't it? It was. It was pretty yeah. long. It was a pretty long time ago. Do you get tired with people talking about how beautiful you are? Because you are an incredibly beautiful young woman. You're, what, 13 years old now? I'll be 13. When? May 31st. So you have a birthday coming up? Yeah. What are you going to do for your 13th birthday? You're actually becoming a teenager now. Right. Uh, well, I'm getting a horse. And so I'll spend a lot of time with my horse. You just... You, you, your mother, and your horse in your three-bedroom apartment over on... <laughs> well, no, we're, we're Where not. will the horse live? Well, I'm, I'm keeping it in Central Park. They have um, pretty nice, you know, stables there. And, you know, places where I can board the horse and I can see him, you know, every day. Have you met the horse yet? Well, no, but <laughs> I'm going to pick it up. Oh, that'll be great. I know, it's going to be fun. Do you have a name in mind? Well, no, I always thought that I should... I should wait for the horse. Before having a name, yeah. yeah. Matter Trigger would be a good name. <laughs> well, no matter of fact, I'm getting two horses. See, because a friend of mine's getting me a horse, and um, I'm doing another movie. And what he, movie is that? The King of the Gypsies? No, that that's one I'm I'm finished with. Well, I might have like one more day of shooting, but um, one called Wanda Nevada. It'll be filmed in um, the Grand Canyon, and we'll be riding. I've never been there. Yeah, I've been oh, to the Grand great. Canyon, but I haven't. Not me. Been inside it. How come I haven't been there? And I'm in my mid-30s, and you're 12, and it, this kid really gets around. <laughs> I think that's great, though. And your career is going really well, right? With yes. movies and, and everything. But let me get back to my original question, because I think that it, you have an unusual physical presence. And do you get tired with people constantly coming on to you, talking to you about it? I mean, you've been a model since you were, like, five years old, right? Well, I was a model since I was 11 months old, but um, I... I can't say, well, I get tired of it. I mean, I wouldn't like it if people were to say, you know, you're ugly or something. I mean, I, I like the compliments, but um, I just I just try to, you know, say thank you as much as I can, yeah. you know, and nicely. And I guess it's like probably that. also important and, and an early point for you to recognize that beauty is just your gift. I mean, you're a gift with a great beauty, but it's what you develop inside that really counts in life, right? Mm -hmm. Do you, do you, have your friends been affected by this success and your notoriety? Like, for example, I don't imagine too many of your other friends have bicycles. I mean, horses. They might have bicycles. And I don't imagine too many of them have been in movies. Do they do mean things to you? Or? No, they no? don't. They're, see, because most of my friends have grown up with me in the career, you know, and, they, and they're just used to it. And a lot of the times they, um, they come on the sets with me. And so, you know, it's fun for them. And I have a friend, and they don't, you know, they don't bother me. And when I get my horse... You know, they'll be able they to get ride to go it with for me. Rides. Yeah. Do you have any boyfriends now? Well, I mean, I go out with um, more than, you know, I go out in a group. Do you date now? Well, in groups, I do. In group, group dating? Right, well, you know, I could sure, a few more dating. kids. I don't. Because when you were here last time, I interviewed you and your mother, and you said you, at that point, weren't dating at all. But now you're dating in large groups. Well, not large groups. I mean, you know, maybe two more people. Four. Right, four, four people, people. together. In addition to your uh, a film, there's a, a book out. Where did you get the idea to do something called the Brook Book? 
with some of your pictures and so forth? Well, my mother has always kept everything that I have, you know, when I was a baby, everything that I've made or mm -hmm. brought home or anything, she's always kept. And so we decided one day just to put it all together and make it a book. And it's, it's pretty interesting. Let's look at some. We have some of the pictures here. When was this taken, Brooke? If you look over at the monitor, you can I see. I was, um, I believe, nine. Hmm. Even at age nine, you had a, an older look. Uh, let's just move through some of, just some of the samples of pictures from the Brook book. This next one is interesting, a totally different hairstyle. What is it? Where is that from? Um, well, photographer um, Maureen Lambre took that one, and um, she, that was taken for um, Rolling Stones. That's magazine. great. Maureen Lambre is not only is she one of the prettiest women I know of an advanced age, some, somewhere in her 20s, but she's also a tremendously talented photographer. She did all the photographs for Pretty Baby. Yes. She still photographs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, let's, if, can we look at the bottom two? Oh, this is true. Now, if I were to look at this, I would say this looks like a 20, 22-year-old woman here. I this was, I don't know, I think I was also about nine. Nine years old? This oh. is, I had, I What was if you end up looking like 40 when you're 20? <laughs> Maybe it'll, this progression is going to turn against you. You never know. That's beautiful. Oh, but when, um... I would just play with some of the makeup in, in um, you know, some of the studios, and then they just put it all together and take a picture. Nice. We have another one here. Now, this, this is what I would call, in old-fashioned terms, kind of a, a come-hither look. Do you know what I mean by that? Not exactly. <laughs> Good. That's okay. I'm not even going to explain it. But here's, here is one thing I'm wondering about. The girl that you play in Louis Mao's film, Pretty Baby, which is currently running, right? Is a sexy girl. Do you, in real life, now, you know, think of yourself as sexy? No. <laughs> I mean, no, because I'm just 12, and I'm, well, I will be 13, and I'm just, when I'm in a movie, I'm just acting the role. I'm not the person sure. that's the role, and so I don't think that I'm sexy. You don't no. think of yourself like that at all? No. Do, do you think that um, all of the controversy that came to surround the fact that you're playing this child prostitute, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that it was a little bit blown out of proportion just simply because they were ignoring the fact that, look, you happen to be beautiful, you happen to be 12, and you happen to be an actress, and you happen to be playing a prostitute, and that's it? Right, and I think also a lot of people should see the movie before they judge it. I mean, it's, it's terrible. They always make judgments before they see it, and then when they see it, they say, uh, oh, it, it's nice, you know, and they, they try to take back whatever they said, but, it, you know, I just think they're all wrong. What, do you pretty much see yourself totally on the way as a career as an actress? I mean, you're not going to make a radical left turn to go to medical school or something like that, are you? No, but if I want to, I will. I don't want to right now, but if I want to stop immediately and just and become a trainer of horses or something, I'll do it. So there are big horses in your future. Yes. <laughs> what are some of the other things you enjoy doing? I mean, the, when you go to the movies, who are some of your favorite actors or actresses you like to see? I like them. Um, I see for a man, I like Richard Dreyfuss. I think he's good. I saw him in the Goodbye Girl, and I liked him a lot. Yeah? And, um... How about Robert Redford? He's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Who else? Um, How about female stars? I like Jean-Vier Bujold. Mm. I think she's very good. I saw a lot of her movies. And what about recording artists? Records? Do really. you have a big record collection? Not really. I just have some, you know, 45s of songs that I like on the radio. Good. And how, how did doing this, this pretty baby film down in New Orleans and playing, playing this part, what, what, how did it change you, if at all? I mean, at this stage in your life, with all these different experiences you're having, which are very interesting, meeting uh, notable people, being in films, you must be absorbing an awful lot. Do you find yourself in any way changed as a result of, of that experience doing the movie in New Orleans? No, it hasn't. I mean, I've, I've gotten a little more knowledgeable about maybe things about the camera and stuff, but it hasn't changed me any other ways. I mean, I've learned when you're filming a movie, I've learned different things about what, when you're filming it, you know, but it hasn't changed me in any other way about the role. Not at all, no. huh? And I also wonder, if, if people were to compare you, Brooke Shields, to any other actress, whom would you most enjoy comparisons with? I don't know. That's hard because a lot of people always compare me with, you know, like Jodie Foster and Tatum O'Neill and everything. And I'm, I don't think I'm like that. I don't think anybody's like each other. I mean, we're That's all well very put. different. Yeah. And I just want to be, you know, myself. I don't want to be like anybody else. Brooke, just keep right on going. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job, really.
I think it's a, you're, you've got a great career ahead of you. And basically, what have you done in the Brook book? You've written so you want to read one of your poems? Okay. Would you just one of the short ones? Because right. in addition to the book being a collection of photographs, some by Maureen Lambray, others by well people who've been taking pictures since she was a little girl. There are some poems in here by Brook, and I didn't want to pick one out. I figured maybe you just if I can find the one. I don't I don't know exactly the page it's on, but. Well, I'll tell you what, while you're looking for this, let's show a brief cl film clip from Louie Mao's Pretty Baby. It's a set where the turn of the century in New Orleans, right? Mm -hmm. And Brooke Shields plays a young woman who grows up in a brothel. Take a look. That's here for yelling and screaming and going in the water. Um, I want to thank Paramount Pictures for giving us a clip, but ask them why they didn't give us a clip that showed Brooke acting rather than standing hopping around like this, because your acting in the film is terrific. Thank you. But that's the clip that we got. So.